Welcome to our Angular Insights video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with services in Angular. Our viewer is curious about how to effectively watch for changes in a service function. They have a service called Home Service, where they set and get some data, but they're facing a challenge when trying to retrieve updated values in a different component. Let's dive into the details and explore how to make this work seamlessly. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To watch for changes in Angular services, we need to implement a way to notify components when data changes. First, let's modify our home service to use a behavior subject. Next, in component A, we will set the parameters using the setParams method of home service. This will trigger the behavior subject to emit the new value. Now in component B, we will subscribe to the getParams method to receive updates whenever the name changes. This allows component B to react to changes in real time. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To manage changes in Angular 2 services, consider using a subscription-based approach. In your components, subscribe to an observable variable linked to a source. When you call the next method on that source, the observable triggers and any subscribed components receive the updated value. You can then define how to handle that value in the subscribe callback. For more detailed guidance, check out the Angular documentation on component communication, which provides insights on bidirectional services. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, answered your question, I hope, and you found that resolution. Guys, if this helped, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, have a good one.